Hi, I'm Chip Lear with Northland Fish and Tackle, and there is nowhere that preparation is more important than in the world of ice fishing because of the fact that so much of our bite, the hot bite, that prime time bite, is so narrow. That window of success can be a really short, limited period of time. So here it is, early season. It's it's pre-early season, we're waiting for the lakes to freeze. But I'm going through all of my gear right now and making sure that it's ready to go when the ice and the lakes finally lock up and we can get out there and try to catch some fish. What I'm doing right now is, is I'm sitting in my fish house and I'm just going through everything that I potentially could be using in this early ice period. So I'm grabbing my electronics, I am uh, making sure that the cord is hooked up. I'm making sure that, I'm, that the lights work. I'm checking the battery condition, making sure that that's all charged up, ready to go. I'm going through my heater. Um, I'm making sure that it, it ignites when I want it to, making sure that my propane source is uh, locked on and, and ready to go. And I do the same thing for lights. No matter if I'm using a headlight going or coming from the lake or if I like to just fish with a headlight or an LED that's connected to my fish house. If you do use a, uh, um, an, uh, a lantern like I like here, I love this because it produces heat and light at the same time. But notice I'm also using the same propane source, a one pound cylinder for both so I can limit how much stuff I'm carrying around. Down here I've got my, if I'm gonna be fishing with live bait, I've got a, uh, a cooler that locks. That's what I use as my, my minnow bucket. Open it up and you can see I've got some, uh, some scoops in here for the minnows. I also have handy and ready to go my bait pucks. I like two different bait pucks. I use one for uh, wax worms. I use another one for your larva color coded so I know which one is for what. I go through my tackle at length in preparation for the ice fishing season. I generally only want to take out on the ice what I'm actually targeting that particular day. I don't want to take it all out there. It gets way too cumbersome. But I do have it all split up inside of my, my bags. This, this one here, I've got uh, jigs. I've got tungsten and lead jigs. We've got all of our plastics in these nice little containers that all go together so it's simple and easy. I've got all my spoons in a completely different box down here. Got that all separated along with my larger attraction baits. Inside my house itself, I, I, I look around here and figure out where I've got everything. Essentially, I leave every day with three rods. I've got the one rod set up for a really aggressive presentation, something for a little bit more moderate, and then of course, my light little one for the finicky of bites that you run into. But as you get ready early season, some of the most important things that you do are way back here in the back of your fish house. I put together little containers like this, sealed up, locked up, and inside here, I've got some, back, some extra propane, I've got extra hand heaters, body heaters, other containers for, uh, for live bait should I need them, an extra tote, some hooks for towing, maybe even an extra rubber strap for your ice auger, because we know those break or get cut on occasion, but it seals up, locks up, goes right behind me. I also got little bags like this. Inside here I've got a little extra neck gaiters, some extra gloves. Of course you got to have a plaid hat, that's kind of mandatory for going ice fishing. Come around here, my new little find from this summer, I got that short little green bucket here that I can use. For, uh, to, put my, to put my fish in. Of course, it's got my ice skimmer in it. But all this is just about getting set up and get ready so that when I get out there and get ready to go fishing and I need a light, I know that it's right down here on my left. I need a, uh, a hook out, I got it. It's right down here, it's in the trays. It's all ready to go. Get prepared so that when you get out on the ice, you're concentrating on fishing and not trying to find something in the back of your fish house. Hey, if you like these videos, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. There we go. Now that's what I'm talking about, baby. Big old walleyes. Look at that right there. <laughs>